Antonio Brown was fined once again for his celebration in the end zone last weekend. I believe it was a $24,000 fine. I think Antonio Brown knows he's going to get fined when he celebrates. I think Antonio Brown and the Steelers know the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty only really affects the kickoff and has little effect when you're scoring as much as the Steelers did last weekend. However, one of the things that's come about of this is the NFL is going to start sending teams videos clarifying unsportsmanlike conduct calls. And the only image I have in my head is like a team meeting with everybody there in like the film room, right? And think of like some of these bigger film rooms that NFL teams have. Think of your college lecture hall. So there you have the whole team, 53-man roster, like 20 coaches, staffers, and they're going to have like a seminar. This is what Antonio Brown did. This is why Antonio Brown had to pay $24,000. Like, I have, like, thank you, Ja'Cory. Ja'Cory now gets fined. $2.40 for thrusting into the, is that a fair fine, $2.40? Yeah. Yeah, you can Venmo it to Dan Keston. Uh, so one of the things that this is coming about, like I've always been against this excessive celebrating penalty. Like I have no problem with, you, with the NFL fining players, right? If they feel like you're being sexually suggestive by twerking, or running your entire crotch into the field goal post at full speed, and that's giving off a bad message to fans and supporters. I say that because I don't know how the NFL's message can get any worse than it already is. Uh, I don't, I, you can find them, but don't have it affect the game. Celebrating shouldn't have any effect on like yardage, yardage penalized, yardage used against the kickoff, or anything that could possibly make it so the other team has an advantage. But here's another thing that I have a problem with. Don't celebrate unless you score points, right? One of the things I've seen become more clear over the last five, six, seven years of NFL football, National Football League, right? On first down, if they stop a guy to make it second and 11, you have players running around, hitting their cap, doing the mellow celebrations, whatever it might be, booing LeBron celebrations, channeling other athletes, being Ronaldo. That is so beyond stupid because you have not caused any big difference in the game. If you do it three straight times, and on the third down, it becomes fourth and 20 because you sack the quarterback again, sure, do a celebration as you walk off the field because you might get the ball back. But outside of just scoring points, that's when you celebrate. And I have no problem with what you do. You want to put popcorn in your face and you get fined for it? That's fine. You want to sign a football and give it to a kid? Do that. You want to twerk? Sure. Like, don't be jealous that Antonio Brown is better at twerking than everybody else in the NFL. Keep him out of the end zone if you don't want to get celebrated on. Some of the other things is Mike Tomlin, coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, feels that the NFL needs to provide clarity on unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. I do the same voice for everybody, by the way. I just don't like reading it in my voice, so I just, here we go again. We have to get some clarity in terms of what's legal and what's not, said Tom Wynn at his weekly press conference Tuesday via ESPN. I know he doesn't want it to be a negative thing. He wants to provide positive energy for us and entertain our fans. We have to get detailed clarity on what he can and cannot do. You've got to acknowledge that some guys are followed more closely than others. You, got to, you saw that last night with Odell Beckham. AB is probably one of those guys, and he probably needs to respond accordingly. Brown's celebration appeared to be breaking the sexually aggressive, sexually suggestive aspect of the rule. So, like, I just, I would really love to see, like, a boardroom of people. Again, I've said this before. We have, not we, the NFL feels like it's okay to put together a boardroom of, like, eight different coaches, play, like uh, ex-players, and they decide on what a catch is, but we don't know what is sexually suggestive. Yeah, a twerk seems a little bit sexually suggestive. Find the guy. He obviously doesn't care. If he cared, he'd stop celebrating the way he does. My other favorite one was things, so... Real quick. Hit me. All right, first things first. Mike Tomlin is like one of the more articulate, like well-spoken coaches in the league. No, I speak... To, to no, get, no. make him sound like the kid that gets called on in class, then you're like, God I, damn it, he's I, reading no, no, again. No, no, I'm even. Yeah, I'm fair. No, I, I know, speak I the know. same. Yeah, but like Mike Tomlin, if any one person deserves like an actual respectable voice, you know it's Mike Tomlin. All right, moving on. You're right. You're right. It's, you have to understand, like, these are full-grown men with testosterone levels off of the fucking roof. The best these part. dudes are waiting for the hike, especially when you're on defense. You're waiting, not knowing when the ball is about to be snapped, and you all of a sudden release all that energy and all that adrenaline, and you run full speed while someone's running into the side of you when someone's running to the other side of you, and you run, and you finally get to that quarterback, and you do your job. Your adrenaline is pumping so much and your energy is up. Like, how are you not supposed to? Uh, yeah. You be I just, a, here's what you do. You just be completely emotionless. You become robotic. You get the sack and you're like, good job. You become Tim Duncan. 
<laughs> I literally do not trust the NFL player that makes a sack running full speed and then just stands up. And like, <clears throat> right. How terrifying would that be, though? Think about the mental advantage yeah. you'd have. Like, like if you just stand, and he doesn't say a thing, he would be like the Kawhi Leonard, Tim Duncan model. They don't celebrate. What's that, Griffin? Psychopath. They become <laughs> like a psychopath. I, I literally they... wouldn't trust that guy within 300 feet of a preschool. But that's like. what... <laughs> Oh, except then you see the preschoolers like twerking because Antonio, but I saw Antonio Brown, but Antonio Brown did it. See, the preschoolers talk like Mike Tomlin, you know? <laughs> Another thing too is like, I don't understand why the NFL is kind of like tripping about this because the NFL is what? There's a 130 man roster per t 32 teams in the NFL. You have enough players to villainize. You have enough players to make the heroes. You have enough players to make the spokesperson. You have enough players to make the villains. You have enough. Like, you don't need every player to be an upstanding citizen. And again, like, I always talk about kind of like the pedestal we put mm -hmm. athletes on. Hey, every profession in the world, there are just going to be shitty people in it. Yeah. Professional athletes, one of them, and some of them, yeah, are just shitty people that like to celebrate and rub it in people's faces, and they're immature, and they're, ah, you know, let them do it, you know? They will they won't be the spokesperson. They won't be the one that gets the, the sponsorship from Nike. Fine, cool. Let the clean-cut Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, get the Under Armour sponsorships, get the UGG sponsorships, you know? There, there are plenty out there to get the sponsorships what if you still want What was that between Tom Brady and sponsorship? I missed that really quick. Uh, the greatest quarterback of all time, the GOAT, for short. Good. Okay. Gr I, just want, I, want, I, want, I just wanted to make sure your mic. Oh, was what there. a shame. Asher just lost her job. Um, <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Asher. You have a great name, Asher Roth. Asher. Is there other famous Ashers? No? I actually no. had a Chiron ready for this moment. Ash. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that one. Look, Edwin's even laughing. Edwin's awake. I always know the clip is good when Edwin's awake. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, right. You know when we talk about soccer, you're like... You film at six. <laughs> and Edwin also works on East Coast time. <laughs> 9 a.m. <laughs> we are done. All right, comment below. What do you guys think about uh, uh, the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty? Should you just get rid of them? Is what is sexually suggestive? Is a bow and arrow okay compared to twerking? Again, they're talking about Antonio Brown. Like he's obviously got like at least one screw loose because he went full speed crotch first into the field goal post. Come on, man. Come on. They should bring back that segment too. All right, like, favorite, subscribe to the video. Which you can't do, but you can subscribe to the channel. That's one way to do it. Don't think I'm making fun of Mike Tomlin. I talk like this for everybody that's not named me. Francis, if Francis, like Francis in Scotland. I talked to Francis yesterday in, on FaceTime. Everyone thought we had separation anxiety. And my version of how Francis was speaking was, Scotland's very, very good. Glasgow's nice. It's rainy. There you go. We'll see you next time.